Learning objective A, we're going to identify parent functions for various types of graphs. Um, in front of us here are eight different graphs, and they are considered their parent functions. What make them their parent functions is they're the most stripped down version of their graphs. They don't have anything being multiplied by each other or added or subtracted to each other. Uh, for example, this right here is a square root function. Um, without f of x, we could write it as, you know, y equals the square root of x. This is the parent function for y equals the square root of x. Now, what's not the parent function of that would be something that was like y equals 3 times the square root of x. That would change the graph. That would actually stretch it. Also, what's not a parent function would be y equals the square root of x minus 2. That also would change the function. So, what we're, again, what we're looking for is the most stripped-down version of the graph such that we still retain its unique shape because the square root function actually gets its shape from the square root symbol. So you do not want to get rid of that. So if we just highlight a few of the square root functions, we have the linear or the uh, y equals mx plus b. We have our line, which will go through the origin. We have the quadratic function in its uh, most stripped down format is just y equals x squared and we get the parabola. Here we have the cubic function where we get kind of like a parabola that's been rotated at its origin. Um, so that's where that comes from. And again, the square root function. As a parent, this starts at uh, the origin. We have what they call inverse variation, or it's just y equals 1 over x. And it's going to look kind of like two exponential functions. This right here is going to have a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote on it. This here is called inverse square. It's y equals 1 over x squared. Very similar to the other graph, except uh, the two kind of exponential shapes we see we, uh, are here in quadrant 1 and 2. This also does have two asymptotes. There's a vertical asymptote going right down here and a horizontal asymptote right here. Uh, the absolute value function is y equals the absolute value of x. The vertex of that function does sit at the origin, and it always makes a v-shape. And then the last one here is exponential growth. They chose here for theirs on the growth to use y equals 2 to the x power. Now, another parent function could be y equals 5 to the x power. It could be y equals uh, 6 to the x power. The base number can change uh, to make different parent functions, but the exponent just has to be by itself. Uh, this one here does have a horizontal asymptote right here at y equals 0.